Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today's Young and the Restless recap airs in the United States on Friday, September 13, 2024, and one day earlier in Canada. We provide Y and R recaps every every day. Audra is reeling from her interaction with Victor. She tries to contact Kyle. When she is unable to locate him, she insists on tracking him down herself. Kyle reluctantly agrees to Claire's proposal of joining his parents at their table. Jack and Diane swear they wouldn't want anything better. They discuss Harrison's return to school. Claire says he's very excited and joyful. Diane notes how Kyle acted the same way while they were in Canada, and she believes it is a shame we have lost that optimistic view on life. Kyle cynically agrees. It's a shame when folks have to face the real world, and their trust is broken. Claire steps in and asserts that, based on her own experience, the real world isn't all horrible. It's wonderful to be surrounded by people who adore you. Jack says it's nice to see Claire out and about. He was anxious that now that Harrison had returned to school, they wouldn't see her as frequently. Kyle insists she will be present. She's assisting him with finding a new home and making child-friendly decisions. Kyle receives a text. Jack points out that his business partner is waiting for him. Kyle turns around to see Audra standing outside the entrance, peering in. He excuses himself to speak with her. Claire thanks Jack and Diane for their kindness. Jack appreciates Claire's efforts, but says that healing the family gap is too large a task for any single individual. Outside, Kyle demands to know what the hurry is. Audra can't believe he'd go this low. Kyle plays dumb. Audra knows he told Victor that she told Nate about their investor. Kyle believes she was busted for being untrustworthy. There's no reason to include him in this. Audra is not stupid. Kyle claims he isn't the one deflecting. He hopes she didn't do it with Victor since he despises when individuals refuse to accept responsibility. He's sorry she was dismissed. Audra is sorry to inform him, but she was not dismissed. Kyle says not yet. She messed up royally this time and shifting the responsibility will not help her. Victor and Billy run into each other at the bar. Victor is curious as to why he was not invited to the Abbott Chancellor opening. He wonders if it was an unsuccessful launch. Billy adds that it has been a difficult day, but Victor will soon be forced to accept that he was mistaken about him. Phyllis enters and notices the two men. Victor laughs and adds he has rarely been mistaken about Billy. He claims Billy has a sense of humor and advises him to enjoy the French fries, but not choke on them. Victor steps back, and Phyllis approaches Billy. She says it's impressive to see Billy stand up to Victor. She claims he deserves a drink on her and understands how difficult it is to stand up to Victor. Billy claims to have greater experience with it. Phyllis is unsure about that. She inquires whether it was about anything specific. Billy claims Victor is furious because the corporation is now Abbott Chancellor, with Billy in command. Phyllis congratulates him and says she likes his name. She inquires about the shakeup rumors she's heard. Billy claims the adjustments are for the better. Phyllis said he needs a top applicant to fill the open jobs. Billy plays along, saying it would be ideal if the individual simply fell into his lap. Phyllis agrees that it would be fantastic. A win-win. What are the odds? Billy had no idea this would be a free drink, but he didn't expect her to be so open about it. Kyle returns to the table and informs them that he needs to go to address something. Diane wonders if he's attempting to go because he's sitting with them. Jack thinks there's no cause to be upset. Claire suggests they eat lunch another time. Kyle cannot understand why they are making such a big deal about this. They had no intentions that he is abandoning, and he has no ill will toward them. Diane apologizes, but she feels this way about him these days. She insists that this conversation is long Claire overdue to please excuse and... them. Claire accepts, but Kyle prevents her from getting up. Kyle agrees to speak. Jack argues that he will go if Diane does. 
Diane insists she can handle it. She and Kyle walk outdoors, leaving Claire and Jack at the table. Phyllis can't believe Billy is belittling the prospect of them working together. Billy isn't ridiculing her, but he's amused. He's in the process of interviewing her for a position he never posted. Phyllis playfully claims she never considered it until their talk at the pub. She insists that she would be an excellent choice for him, and she is fully qualified. Billy tells her to pitch to him. Phyllis describes herself as brilliant and artistic. She was the CEO of Jabba and Restless Style and is valuable to Billy. She claims they have always worked well together. Billy has a problem with how she left Chancellor Winters and hasn't worked since. She claims he has quit jobs before. Furthermore, he understands she departed in solidarity with her son. In any case, she was not qualified for the job. Phyllis says she has a question for him. She wants to know what happened to Lily. Billy will not discuss it with her. Phyllis grabs her drink and turns to exit. Billy stops her. Diane follows Kyle's lead into the park. She insists she doesn't want to argue with him anymore and recalls how they used to work together. She admits to making dumb and terrible blunders. Kyle cannot believe she wants to relive ancient history. Diane states they do not want him to move out. Kyle says she can't keep him there indefinitely. She understands, but the barrier between them is so great. If he leaves, they won't be able to reunite. Kyle claims she is making everything about herself. He wants to move out since that's what everyone does. He wants to move out so he can finally breathe without thinking about her. Audra storms past Nate. He attempts to slow her down, but she speeds past him. Audra finally tells him that she cannot believe Kyle's nerve. He's a pampered brat, a snake in the grass. Nate worries what Kyle has done. According to Audra, Kyle noticed Nate's near miss and immediately informed Victor. Nate believes Audra must have denied it. Audra claims she made a split-second decision to admit it and informed Victor she has the freedom to believe anyone she wants. Nate is aware that he is not at the top of Victor's trust list. Kyle, according to Audra, is an egotistical bastard who wants to prove that he doesn't need anyone's support. Audra despises Kyle's current position of power. Somehow, she overlooked this one. She points out that her rage is nowhere approaching Victor's. Being on the receiving end of his rage is not fun, Nate claims he tried to warn her. Audra isn't in the mood to say, I told you so. Nate shares some insights from his interactions with Victor. He claims Victor is merciless, and there's no need to waste time figuring out what he's thinking. The best bet is to presume he's planning his next move. Jack and Claire continue to converse as Kyle and Diane are in the park. She acknowledges she did extensive research on the Newmans, but knows little about the Abbots. Jack says there's a lot to learn. He says he is similar to Claire. They both suffered greatly and have turned their lives around. He also understands what it is like to be abandoned by your mother. Claire is sorry to hear this. According to Jack, forgiveness developed with time and through patience. He knows Kyle is capable of overcoming it. He hopes Diane and Kyle are making headway toward better things right now. Claire claims that her family is entirely new to her. She's learned a lot from Harrison and observed the family dynamics there. Jack appreciates the soothing influence she has on Kyle and Harrison. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.